Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, it's a nice day outside. I decided to have a cigar outside and we're going to review the cigar outside today. It's kind of weird because I have this tracking thing tracking me, but whatever. And today we're doing the Definition Cigar Gen 413. They call it Genesis. Mm, there we go. So... The cigar, I, 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 don't, I don't know much about it. I don't smoke a lot of, uh, was that Luciano cigar or Definition cigars. Um, so this is one of those things that was sent to me by Eric. Smoke one if you have one. So I figured today, since I'm going to be outside, smoke a cigar, right? So let's look at this cigar real quick. The Genesis by Definition Cigars actually is Gen plus 413. Vitola is five and a half by 54. Super Robusto. Robert's Ecuadorian Broadleaf Hybrid. Binders San Andreas from Mexico. And filler is Nicaraguan Omatepe, Nicaraguan Condega, Nicaraguan Puerto Nuevo, and Nicaraguan Chincagre. And this cigar had an MSRP of $13. That's a hefty price. That's a hefty price. This whole cigar is like roughly put together with a lot of like glue on side thing and all that stuff. I don't know. I, I don't have a really good feeling about this. We'll see. All right. So let's get started. This is so weird, but let's get started. All right. Smell kind of like stinky and like a woodsy incense like smell. Let's cut it. This side thing, so poorly glued. I don't know, should I take it off? Could, like that. We'll see if that works. It's a really musty, woodsy smell with a little bit of saltiness. A little bit of hints of marshmallow. That's what I got. On the light up, it smells very woodsy. It smells actually nice. Oh. What? Woodsy, like I said, a little bit salty, a little bit mustiness. Very little amount of spice and the tingling on the tongue. Very little bit of barnyard. Ah, spices ramping up. Spices ramping up. And of course, somebody decides to land on the brake. But 
the woodsiness has a little hint of marshmallow. Maybe some of the toasty marshmallow here. I can kind of smell it. No, I think we're good right now. Let's go for one third. Be right back. Okay, first third. So you can see ash is actually not bad. Hmm. Hmm. And um, in terms of flavor, I think it's roughly like woodsy, white pepper, a little bit of, I don't know, weird molasses of some sort or kind of sweetness. Um, maybe closer to licorice. And that nuance of like marshmallow is still there, but it doesn't taste like marshmallow, it's just like the nuance of marshmallow. The white pepper um, is more of a texture than flavor. I want to say it almost tastes like a maple a little bit too. It really depends like which part you're smoking it, but so far so good. I think there's a little bit of chocolate here too. A little bit of chocolate taste. More on the retro hill than the palate. So first third is not bad. Let's continue smoking the second third and we'll see what that brings you because I don't know, I'm kind of surprised. I thought this was going to be like pretty shitty because of all the construction and all that stuff. Veiny, taped on cap and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. Be right back. All right, second, third, where we go. Now the second, third, we got a little bit more of that chocolate molasses nuance with white pepper. A little bit of woodsiness, a little bit of what is that? Like this, like a really smell good kind of woodsy tone. It smells really good. Like the, the smoke is really good. So far, so good. This is really good. Uh, it's about medium, medium strength. Not, not too overly crazy. That white pepper does give you a little bit itchy throw. But other than that, it's a good cigar. Surprisingly good cigar. Surprisingly good cigar. Dessert cigar. You gotta have coffee, um, even like a latte, something sweet, have a dessert. They all will go really good with that. You know this will go really good with? Caramel milk. If you have like caramel milk, that's gonna taste really good. If you don't know what caramel milk is like, get some caramel. Like a, I'm talking about like that caramel syrup, but like caramel. You actually cook the sugar into caramel and then mix it with milk. This is gonna taste really good with that. So, so far so good. Let me show you the band. The band I have gripe with. It's a purple band that says Gen 413. And with the plus being gold. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably show like a close up with this picture. How that looks like on here. Because outside it's a little bit hard to record something like this. But my gripe with it is that it doesn't tell you Luciano Cigar or Definition Cigar, it doesn't tell you anything other than Gen 413. And for people who doesn't know, they're like, what is this? Like, you know, like if you go search for Gen 413, you're not even going to find anything because it's called the Genesis Gen 413. And, you know, you're not going to find a lot of good information on that, especially if somebody tried to tell you what the cigar is. You're not going to get a lot of good explanation on it, right? So I, I don't like cigar that's cigar band that's kind of half-assed, that doesn't tell you everything kind of thing. So uh, that low point for the band, cigar itself so far so good. So last third, let's finish up and we'll go to the summary. All right, so last third, finally finished. This is a good cigar. Last third, the flavor died down a little bit, but that molasses chocolate, still in the forefront. You can still taste it. But everything else just died. Like, there's no other taste other than that, you know. Maybe a little bit more woodsiness and that's pretty much it. So, can I say this is a good cigar? Yeah, I can say this is a good cigar, medium strength. Enjoyable, a lot of smoke output. Doesn't need any correction, anything like that. Enjoyable cigar, small. Uh, being Robusto is definitely my size. So, that's pretty good. So, I will give this, I don't know. 12 to 13 will be will be fair. 12 to 13 will be fair. Even 13, 50, I think, I think will be fair. So I, I, I'll say that's like, you know, they set the price exactly where it is uh, for the cigar. Uh, 
Even though I didn't like the way they glued the, the cap on, but everything else it looks good. I like it. So yeah, I can recommend this. 1350. No, 13. 13.50, so yeah, 12 to 13.50 is the range, okay? With that being said, uh, big thanks to Eric for sending me the cigar, and um, that will be it for this um, cigar review. If you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.